guys, it's Emma Bear. Sorry about the background noise. It's just my little brother watching a movie. I don't know what it is. It's a new movie, though. Um, today, we're going to be making a Dunkin' Donuts hazelnut iced coffee. I know some of you people love this drink, and some of you don't. But the people who love this drink, I'm going to be making it today. You are going to need hazelnut um, <coughs> coffee ground grounded and make that in your coffee maker and then I put it in a cup this big cup and then I chilled it but if you don't want to wait that long you can take a drink mixer and there's no alcohol in this I would never do that and you can put it in with ice I'm still going to be putting it in with ice so you're also going to need ice milk, sugar, which is down here, and a cup, and I suggest a cup like this with a straw in it, so you can put, because when you take it off, there's this hole right there, and you can <coughs> hold your finger over it and shake it. So, I've made this before, I made it today, and I fell in love. So first, what you're going to do is take your ice, and fill this with it, but if you don't have one of these, you can obviously chill it in the refrigerator, back there, but this is just a quicker way, and if you're going to use this, put the coffee in the refrigerator for about 10 to 20 minutes before doing this, I just did 10 minutes and it still worked, but well, this makes it super cold, so, especially because it's metal. Then pour your coffee in there. Cover it. And start shaking. Ooh, that gets cold. You're going to be shaking it like this. And it does foam up, but that just gets the flavor running too. Okay. Woo! Then you can pour that into your cup after you're done. This is very easy. Hang on. I take this top off. There we go. Pour this right into your cup. Oh, it's cold. Shake it up if you want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour it in. Shake it up for like two seconds. Ooh. And only fill it about halfway because once you add the ice in there, it's gonna fill up more too. Now that that's done, it's just, I'm just gonna wipe this up. It's all wet. You can take your milk, now make sure you add the ice and then pour, I mean add the milk and then put your ice in just because when you add the milk it, you can taste the flavoring more and not just water. And then add your ice. my hands probably because my hands are wet so as you can see like I told you the ice brings up the drink so Whew. now you're gonna take a big spoon I don't think I mentioned this but you will need a spoon too and do three big spoonfuls of sugar and this is what gives that nice hazelnut iced coffee taste. And then you're gonna wanna mix it. Mix it some. Ugh, still tastes that. This is when this comes in handy. Put this over the cover. Oh, hang on. 
sugar, grains of sugar on it. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. So put this on. Don't put your straw on yet. And then make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't leak. Put your finger over the hole. And shake! And this makes the sugar come around. And when you suck in, it doesn't just get all those grounds of sugar. It just shakes it up for you so the sugar is everywhere. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> a little came out, but that's okay. After that's done, you can take your cover off, put your straw in, and enjoy. I hope you guys like this video. Comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.